Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It is the legend, the leader himself, Mizuyashi Namakaze. And we're coming at you guys with What If Naruto Was a Prodigy, Part 1. I would like to continue this series, so please offer your support by liking the video, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below what you thought at the end. And with that being said everyone, I do want to say a few things, such as following me on Instagram to see into my personal life, or in just in case for anything to may maybe even catch a few laughs, and even contact me. Also, join the Discord server to chat with me, and also we're doing an event over there, and I'll explain detail more in detail at the end of the video. So with that being said everyone, let's get into this. Time for a bit of background info everyone, Naruto is 7 years of age, he's 7 years old. He can tell that the villagers, they treat him differently, and of course, not knowing why, he asked the Hokage, which is Haruzen at the time, he asked him about this, but he is just brushed off, and the Hokage makes him think that it's his own imagination playing tricks on him. Now unlike the original, Naruto isn't dumb, but since he can't get answers normally, well, that's where Donzo comes in and offers to tell him the truth, but Naruto will have to work for him. Now, Naruto is conflicted at first. I mean, he is seven years old, but in the end, he does agree. And the reason he agrees is because he knows he won't be able to find the answer nowhere else. Plus, not only that, he has no reason to really distrust Donzo. Donzo is literally brought up in the light of him being the second in a way, the second Hokage, Hokage Haruzen's rival. And so, Naruto doesn't have any reason to distrust him. But moving on, when Naruto is told about the Ninetale Fox and that he is the one that is containing it, he of course feels freaked out. But he tries his very best, and he does, keeps his composure. And so starts the days of Naruto's training with the Anbu. Every day, he will get harsh and excruciating training consisting of 250 push-ups, 300 sit-ups. And for every 5 minutes, while he's doing the push-ups and sit-ups, he will have to dodge kunai and shuriken. And even when he's least expecting it, he'll have to dodge one of these. And he must practice every form of chakra control, such as wall walking, water walking, and a new form of chakra patrol that I made it myself, or mainly a reference from another person's idea, is that you will have to contain this string. And if you put too much chakra, it will snap in half. If you put too little, it will basically decompose. But if you put the right amount, it will stay straight up. And he will have to practice every chakra nature jutsu. Yes, they're low level, but it's still pretty hard. And now, of course, this is done in secret, because we all know Haruzen would never approve. Of course, Naruto must learn many different fighting styles to make sure he increases his taijutsu prowess and must keep up with his studies by going to the library five hours a day. So basically imagine this, you're going through a lot of training and a lot of studying. Now we're going to do a time skip. Naruto is now at the age of 13. We see Naruto tired and bored in class. Today's the last day of school. They're graduating from the academy. Now unlike the original, Naruto is actually at the top of the class, along with Sasuke. And no, those two don't get along. The class is separated, half of the girls string over Sasuke, and the other half are actually cheering Naruto. And when the final test is held, Naruto along with Sasuke passes with flying colors. Once everyone leaves the class, Sasuke goes up to Naruto and challenges him to a battle. At first, Naruto is going to refuse due to him needing to report back to Danzo. But as he thought about it, he thought to himself, Well, Danzo wouldn't mind if I defeat him. I mean, literally, he hates the Uchihas. And with this thought in mind, he agrees to the battle. Uchiha compound. As the two boys take their own unique battle stance, a leaf seemingly begins to fall down slowly in the background. 
with such tension in the air and the focus shared between the two boys. Sasuke takes this time to quip, you ready Naruto? Naruto then replies saying, bring it Sasuke. And as this exchange of words were said, the leaf finally lightly touched the ground. Signaling the start of the battle, the both of them dash at high speeds to one another. Both of them then take a sudden step back and through a kunai with such pinpoint accuracy, the two kunai actually clashed with one another. And soon followed with Sasuke and Naruto were clashing against one another. Heh, <laughs> not bad loser, but let's see how you block this. As Sasuke said this, he then tries to punch Naruto square in the face. Try to, because Naruto catches it and then proceeds to jump up and with his right leg, he brings it down forming an axe kick to Sasuke. But Sasuke sort of seeing this in slow motion, he can't really, seeing how he can't move, he felt threatened. And he basically activated his already unlocked one Temo Sharingan for just a split second to dodge the kick that just barely missed. They both then stepped away ready to launch a chakra nature based jutsu but they were stopped by the two passing jonin who saw all this occur asuma and kuranai what do you think you're doing fighting fellow shinobi that's against the village rules says an angry kuranai what but we were sparring and today was going to tell us who was going to be stronger complains a frustrated Naruto. Kuranai then proceeds to whack Naruto on the head and yells at him, enough of your nonsense. Do you want me to report this to the Hokage? But as this was said, the Anbu shows up as well as Donzo. Naruto, Donzo speaks up. Yeah, yes master, said Naruto fearfully. Why is it? that you didn't show up for training on time, hmm? Asked Donzo. Uh, I'm sorry, master, for I was trying to settle a match with my rival Sasuke Uchiha, replied Naruto. Donzo then gets intrigued and asked Naruto, so who did this match result in? Basically asking who won. And Naruto replies, I I can't say. We were stopped midway by this Joni. Donzo annoyed looks over to see who did it. And he sees Kuranai. Oh, Kuranai. Asuma. How are you, hmm? But before they can even respond, they feel an extreme killing intent from Donzo. Because Donzo pretty mad how he didn't get to hear the results well come on Naruto you need to practice finding your chakra nature and practice your kenjutsu which you guys don't know it's basically weaponry how to use weaponry it's like fighting with swords or hammers or anything like that you know what I'm saying moving on though Donzo said this as he disappears into the shadows yes master Naruto quickly says this, and then he turns around and bows in respect to Kurenai, Asuma, and respect to Sasuke, considering that that match was actually going to turn pretty intense, then leaves in the direction of Danzo at the Anbu base. Naruto, you will be working on three different techniques. These are Wind Style, Gale Palm, Fire Style, Majestic Flame Emperor, and lastly, the shadow clone jutsu so begins the whole day of training till sunset and then till the next day of sunrise and when the time comes to go to the team assigning meeting naruto gets ready and once he arrives he sits next to sasuke so what do you think what team will i or you be on asked naruto impatiently even though he trained all night he literally looks like a squirrel that just drank coffee with lots and I mean lots of caffeine. Sasuke now replying to Naruto's previous question says I don't know so let's see 
Now, when the girls enter the room, seeing both Sasuke and Naruto together has them awing in amazement. And as the time to pick teams start, Aruka enters the room and says, please quiet down everyone. Know this, as a ninja, you'll face many endeavors, but I believe in you all to be able to overcome all of them with your courage, with your bravery, and most of all, with your hard work. And with that being said, I hope you all will become fantastic shinobi. Naruto almost sheds a tear, but he claps for Aruka's speech. And once this is done, a group of Joni enter the room. And the following said, Team 10 will be consisting of Shikamaru Nara, Ino Yamanake, and Choji Akamichi. And their Joni will be Asuma. Team 8 will be consisting of Hinata Hyuga, Kiba Inazuka, and Naruto Uzumaki. And their Joni will be Kurenai. And lastly, Team 7 will be Sasuke Uchiha, Sakura Haruno, and lastly, Shina Abarame. And their Joni will be Kakashi. Any questions? No one says anything. Okay, then may you all have a good day. And with that being said, Aruka leaves the room. Team 8, come with me please, said Kurenai. And as the team goes with Kurenai to a different room, they are all told to take a seat and sit down. Then Kurenai spoke up. Now, tell me all of you, what are your likes? dislikes and your future goals keep us the first one to speak well i like my best friend akamaru and as the dog basically barks ah! and i dislike how girls flock over to sasuke and naruto as he glares to naruto by the way and my future goal is become the best shinobi alive with all the ladies kura and i who smiled First, slowly got annoyed with Kiba and his foolery. Then Hinata was chosen by Kurenai to speak up. Hinata is extremely shy for two reasons. Number one, she doesn't talk much. And number two, as we all know, she has a humongous crush on Naruto, who is literally, you know, sitting right next to her. <laughs> but trying her best, she stutters. My, my, my likes are, are, um, as she looks in the direction of Naruto. And, and my dislikes are being useless, unlike, <coughs> unlike Sakura. And my goal is to be a good Kanoichi as well as... She blushes as she looks at Naruto. Kuranai sighs, but smiles for Hinata. Kuranai then slowly looks at Naruto and says, Well, as you know, it's your turn now. Naruto, feeling hyped up because it's finally his turn, speaks up and says, My likes are eating ramen and training. My dislikes are those who are considered prodigies, and my goals, well, for the future, they are to become the Hokage, so strong even better than the fourth Hokage, who was considered a legend throughout history. Kurenai, surprised at this proclamation, smiles in happiness and thinks to herself, well that's a shocker, we have a girl Hyuga member crushing on the nine tails in Kiriki, wasn't that interesting? As Kurenai thinks this to herself, she then smirks and decides to tease Naruto. I wonder how can one be Hokage even though you don't follow the rules, hmm? And as these words were said, Naruto goes tomato red and is embarrassed. Well, that's all for today. Come back tomorrow and don't eat your lunch because tomorrow's your final test, says Kurenai. And as she then leaves, in a poof of smoke, Naruto is excited for tomorrow's endeavors. Unlike the original, Naruto speaks up, knowing about the existence of the bell test, and due to Donzo making Naruto practice a simulation of it with his Anbu members, he approaches Hinata, and as he tries to talk to Hinata, well, the friend Hyuga girl blushes so bad that she almost passes out on the spot. Well, almost, cause thanks to Kiba's interference, Hinata was able to at least avert her attention away from Naruto. Yo, listen up. Tomorrow, there will be a test. And it will be different. It will be difficult in general. But I have a plan. This statement was said by Naruto. 
and was followed up by a question from Kiba. And how do you know about the test? And when did you figure it out? And what does it contain? And what's the plan? Naruto answers both questions. The next day. Team 8 is starting their test. Naruto and Kiba stay back as they send Hinata to close in the distance on Kurenai. Then Kiba comes from behind and attacks Kurenai using his clan moves. And as they distract Kurenai, Naruto chops, charges up his chakra and prepares four shadow clones. Each of the shadow clones launch a different jutsu. And this would be wind style, air bullet, fire style, fireball, lightning style, lightning stream, water style, water dragon. And lastly, he throws a bunch of shuriken and does the shuriken clone jutsu. This catches Kurenai by complete surprise. Like he built different, bro. And she is now in danger. She's in this dangerous predicament. And she uses a quick substitution. But as she substitutes, Naruto is already there. And he tries to hit her with a wind style air palm. This connects and sends Kurenai back, flying. And as he tries to follow up, he was assisted by Hinata and Kiba. All three of them are putting much pressure on Kurenai, making her go serious. She takes Naruto's arm and slams him to the ground, making him cough up blood. And then as he tries to get up, Kurenai injects her chakra inside of him, inside his stream of, you know, limitless chakra, and places him into a genjutsu. With this, she disables Naruto from moving. Hinata is livid, and at this sight, she charges at Kurenai in a blind rage. And when angry, she accidentally almost did the 8 trigrams, 64 palms. Almost because when she reached 32 palms, Kurenai sweeps her off her feet and then delivers a quick and swift blow to her jaw, knocking her out cold. Then lastly, Kiba and Agarar, Akamaru, they poof into a smoke. This signaling that it was a shadow clone. What? A shadow clone? That means... And before Kuro and I can finish this thought, the so-called Naruto body then shows a poof of smoke, showing that it was Kiba. And before she can find Naruto, the bells were stolen. Flashback. Naruto is discussing with Kiba and Hinata about tomorrow's test and how they'll have to work together as a team to be able to pass it. You too will right off the bat attack Kuro and I sensei and put a lot of pressure on her. While you do that, I'm going to use a strong combo projectile jutsus with my shadow clone jutsus. Sounds great, says Kiba, Hinata. You know, Hinata's being super shy, by the way, so she just nods in agreement. Amazed on Naruto's plan, but Naruto wasn't finished, he continued. And when I do this, jutsu, Kur and I will decide to use the substitution, but I'll deal with that. But the second I send her to y'all, Kiba, you'll transform into me, and I transform into you. This will give me a chance to get the bells, okay? When this was said, Kiba got really angry. What do you mean? Don't get ahead of yourself. But Naruto somewhat calmly said no. It's because of how good you are at Taijutsu that I would like to switch with you and fool Kurenai. Kiba relaxed and reluctantly agreed. Now back to the present. Naruto has the bells and Kurenai was surprised. Kurenai then starts to laugh. <laughs> Wasn't that something? As this was said, Hinata and Kiba started to get up. And that's when Kuro and I finished it off. Well, you pass. And that is almost the end of the video, everyone. We're having, I'm gonna have some stats, but real quick, everyone, I do wanna say that the like goal is 10 likes. And if you wanna stay for the stats, you might wanna stay a little longer for this. Hold up, give me a second. I gotta turn the page of my script, okay? And then it's time for the stats, okay? And by the way, it should show on the screen. This is Naruto's stats now. Naruto has, for his jutsu list, he has fire style, fireball jutsu, water style, water bullet, wind style, air bullet, wind style, wind scythe, wind style, gale palm, which is wind palm, by the way. Earth style, mud wall, and the forbidden technique, shadow clone jutsu, ninja technique, bloody body flicker, and lastly, lightning style, thunder palm. 
as well as lightning style, lightning stream. And the skills, swordplay slash kenjutsu basically, you know, we're using weaponry. His level of weaponry usage is a high tuning level. His, dai, his taijutsu, low joning level. His genjutsu is mid tuning level. His ceiling jutsu, which is called fun jutsu, is low joning level. And yes, genjutsu is mid joning level, but tuning level, but that's mainly how he can break out of genjutsus. He does not know how to place gen people under genjutsu, okay, everyone? And also, ceiling techniques, he is starting to get more used to that. And that's, I'm actually planning to have Naruto learn the flying raging, but from Jiraiya though. But that's for a future part, okay, everyone? And then again, before you guys go, I do want to say this. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. Like the video. Comment down below what you thought. And also, please join the Discord server. Because right now, it's going through a certain event. Well, not really an event. It's basically, I made it into a server where you can have fun with us all. And you can also partake in somewhat of a roleplay. But, I'm going to be making a whole separate video just for that. But it will not be publicly viewed. You can... When you join the Discord server, I'm going to have in the channel of announcements, I'm basically going to have a link to this video and it will explain all the rules of the Discord server, okay? And with that being said, everyone, adios. If you find the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity.